What's up, Bears fans, and welcome back to Anatomy of a Play, the series where I highlight the hidden gems of the 2018 season to show you what they can tell us about 2019. Some of these plays will be outstanding individual efforts, but plays like today's offer insight into what makes Matt Nagy's offense so dangerous. That's right, today we're talking about the Bellamy Bamboozle, but to understand what makes this play so special, first, we've got to talk about tendencies. Now anybody that watched the Bears in 2018 knows that they like to call screens. Nagy wants to get the ball to his skill players in space, so he'll often have someone bubble back just like this to create that space and hopefully get some yards. There's just one problem. Defenses can figure this out pretty quick. And by week three, the jig was basically up. All Cohen or Gabriel would have to do is take one step back after the snap and defenders would come crashing down after them. Take a look at this week three play. Nagy tries to use play action to catch the defense flowing right, but not a single backside defender takes the bait. In fact, all Trubisky has to do is start his throw for the entire backside to take off towards Gabriel. It probably won't shock you then when I tell you this play doesn't go anywhere. But this brings us to week four, where Nagy uses his own tendencies against Tampa Bay. He starts out with the same usual screen we've seen, this time to Cohen. Nagy watches the defense and sees that they're crashing down hard the instant Cohen steps back. He takes note of this, and trust me, he'll use it later. Just a quarter and a half later, in fact, Nagy makes his move. This play starts out in their common screen setup, and as usual, he's got three guys lined up on the side of the field opposite of the ball with the speed guy, Cohen in this case, closest to the quarterback. Everything about this formation screams bubble screen. But after the snap, Bellamy fakes a block and silently slips through the DBs to get wide open for the touchdown. The defenders never had a chance. What makes this play so smart is how well it's set up by every other screen they've ever run. When Cohen steps backwards with Trubisky staring at him, both defenders immediately lock onto Cohen, just like they would on any other screen. But as soon as they've let Bellamy go, this play turns into one of the most wide open touchdown catches you're gonna see. It's so open, in fact, Cohen raises his hands to signal touchdown before the pass is even caught. You can't fool a defense much better than this. But what does this play tell us about the future? Well, if nothing else, this play shows us that Nagy can identify his own tendencies and use them to exploit defenses like we've simply never seen in Chicago. That he can use unsuccessful plays like this to create explosive plays like this. And that, in today's NFL, is how you stay ahead of defenses all year long. That's it for today's breakdown, folks. If you like what I'm doing, subscribe to my channel and I'll keep making stuff like this all throughout the offseason. But until next time, bear down and thanks so much for bearing with me.